Hi guys, welcome to another Windows 8 tutorial. This is me, Joshua, and I'm going to be showing you guys my tutorial for the first official Windows 8 that I have here. This is the actual Windows 8 RTM. It's the pro version, and I'm going to be talking about the Skip Metro Suite settings. It is a program that either logs you into the desktop, it hides all the hot corners that you would usually see right here or right here, and basically what it's going to do is it's going to eliminate the annoyance for those that do get a bit annoyed that every time they click over here, this shows up, or they click over here, that shows up, and they probably just don't want that. So going into the program, after you set it up, which would be normally right here, all you have to do is just press next, next, um, press install, and after that, it'll go ahead and install. I don't think that'll go ahead and be notified. Um, then you want to go ahead and open the program, and you can either check skip the start screen which will automatically log you into the desktop interface instead of the metro ui disable top left corner which means that every time you go over here you'll see a list of apps right here disable the charms bar which would normally be right here and then remove all hot corners so it'll do everything for you instead of having to select this or that so i'm just going to go ahead and click right here then i'm going to save the settings then after that, if I were to go ahead and test out the corners, there is no charms bar showing up and there is no Metro UI window showing up either. So that takes care of that. And the only way that you can go ahead and get into the start screen, I believe is clicking it um, or actually not, not clicking it. Um, I believe the only way you'd be able to get into it is pressing the Windows key on your keyboard to get into it. Yeah, so I think that's how it goes. And I don't believe with this enabled you can go ahead and get to the charms bar in a ways so i do believe that might be a problem if that's something that you do use a lot and yeah so this is something for those that do not like the metro interface they rather just stick completely with the desktop and have nothing to do with the metro interface this keeps you in a sandbox i would like to say so if you guys enjoy this go ahead and use it it's brought to you by win area and if you have any comments or questions let me know and if you have any suggestions let me know that too because i've been running a little low on my windows 8 tutorials so i'd like to go ahead and hear from you guys all right if that's it uh take care Guys, bye.